fange einfach mal an. Ja. What type of film is extra man? Wow. It's very hard to uh, classify uh, such an unclassifiable film like, like Extra Man. Uh, Henry, maybe next time we should try and recycle your wine bottles. Why? Recycling is the most insidious idea of this generation. That and helping the homeless, most of whom deserve the position. What the government should really focus on is sex. It's a comedy, it's a, a romantic comedy, but it's neither a, a romance in there, nor is it just funny. It all it revolves around a premise that's, uh, that's also, um, you know, this extra man premise um, uh, of, uh, you know, escorting uh, older debutante type women um, out and uh, this kind of uh, gentleman gigolo thing. You look very nice. Uh, are you going out somewhere? Yes. I'm seeing the billionaireess Vivian Cudlip this evening. She phoned me about an event only 10 minutes ago. But the queen must be obeyed. Wow. Uh... So it's basically this collection of eccentric, eccentric characters that are um, kind of thrown into this New York mix. Paul's a fairly um, a level type guy, but he's got some eccentricities, but Kevin Klein is an eccentricity. You know, and <laughs> John C. Riley's character, um, the Gershon character, is just so wonderful and you know that was one of the hardest ones to, to dial in. Suddenly this guy who you don't expect much from ever, he's just too out there, has this wonderful knowledge. He knows something very well. He, you know, it's breathtaking even for our other two leads. There's all kinds of wonderful words in the bees actually. My personal favorite is bisextile, which means nothing like it sounds. Believe it or not, it means of or pertaining to leap year. So, next February 29th, we should all remember to wish each other a happy bisextile day. <laughs> That's definitely one outstanding moment, I think, of the film. All three together, uh, it's like a like a like a band. They're now getting together closer, and and there's a surprise twist in the character, not in the story, which is sometimes great. No, not at all. Um, there was a very uh, a white canvas. You know, we've, we've got characters that are doing, they're doing all the, the lion's share of the work already. We're not, we don't have to do anything. So basically we want to enhance those, but you know, we don't need to write comedy music here. But what I always try to do, and, and I think that's the, maybe the, the similarity of the approach is that I always try to find the heart of what this film is about. In this case, I uh, focused on a few things, which I thought, mm, you know, our, our Kevin Klein's character has a dream. Um, and uh, <laughs> no matter how crazy it is, his dream was Russia. That's what I took as one of the hearts of the music. I, uh, you know, I had the balalaika inspire me. This guy uh, who has a dream, and I'm playing, his dream resonates with everything he does. And so does the music. The theme we developed at the very beginning, I actually kind of rejected internally before we even played it to the director. And then we <laughs> proceeded to, I don't know how many, you know, variations of other themes and things that we went through and went through and, you know, all this and, uh, you know, thinking we're getting closer and closer and closer. And then, uh... In the meantime, we had 
just put it up for the director to, to listen to. And he came up with, he said, Nicholas, you guys had this theme a while ago. That was actually good. Um, how about this? And I, okay, we listened to it again. And with, you know, having worked on it for a while, realized <laughs> it's actually true. That's actually the best um, idea we had so far. So that became one of the themes in the film. Writing doesn't come easy to me. Um, it's always a struggle, and it's great to have someone um, equally involved and uh, with great ideas with you. You can bounce back and forth. Klaus has just, you know, he's got uh, these ideas, these great ideas, and he comes up with them so fast. I am so slow when it comes to that sort of thing. But man, when he has it, when he sits down, it just starts to take shape right in front of your face. It, I mean, I, it's really amazing to watch. This film was a blast to do. You know, it's great to work and be able to <laughs> laugh, you know, sit back and just laugh. It's a fabulous film, um, which makes it at the same time, of course, challenging because you need to keep up. I want to keep up with the quality of the film. It doesn't need underscore. It doesn't need music underneath to just help out the picture. It needs a statement. It needs some, uh, a strong, helpful element um, and always recognizing what is what we want to say and feel and take this out to the audience. At any point in time, every note is so important um, because there's simply not that many notes. <laughs>